show. So, excuse me. Oh, gosh, too much soda. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as that unmistakable music tells us, once again, it's time for another visit from the NBC Bookmobile. Here it comes. Bring it on in. Watch your feet over there, friends. the beloved library lady, Kathleen Anchors, and of course, gruff but lovable old Gus, the bookmobile driver. Kids, nice to, nice to have you with us as well. Thank you very much. And uh, my gosh, it, it sounds like you've really been working on the bookmobile. It seems like you've tuned it up a little, huh? He's purring like a bloodthirsty jungle cat after the kill. Well, that's, that's certainly, uh, oh, there it is, right there. That's certainly pretty impressive. It's all in preparation for the upcoming battle of the Network Bookmobile at uh -huh. Lakeway Park. Well, oh, there it is, John. Uh, it sounds awfully wonderful, and uh, what a great way to promote uh, uh, young people reading more. I think that's a wonderful idea. And I hope you bring home the trophy. Yes, so do we. Unfortunately, last year we were disqualified. Oh, that's when too bad. Gruff but lovable old Gus lately ran the CBS Bookmobile. <laughs> and forced it into the wall, yeah. resulting in a hellish inferno of smoke and flame, punctuated by the horrible screams of the injured. Oh, how... <laughs> gosh, how awful, and, and also how lengthy. I, I hope that... Uh, I hope that nothing like that happens this year, uh, library lady. We'll do what we have to do to win, David. <laughs> I'm distracted because of those weasels across the hall. Of course. Why don't you just take this thing over there? Could you get this in across the hall? <laughs> All right. All right, well, we'll finish up here. Just take it across the hall. Screw them. Um, all right, let's take a look at some of these brand new books right here, library lady. Thank you very much. Is this the first offering tonight? Right. Okay. Uh, you know, folks, for many years, Rand McNally has been a top name in roadmaps, and now they've come up with a unique new publication. It's the Rand McNally Scratch and Sniff Edition. There it is. Let's see how this works. So just open it up here and uh, give it a try. What do you just, just scratch anywhere on there like oh, that? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's New Jersey. <laughs> okay, enough of that nonsense. Where's the next one? Now? Oh, right here. Here it is. Here's a uh, brand new sports book that captures all the raw emotion and the behind-the-scenes action of the 1987 football season. It's entitled, Wow, Free Cleats, Memories of an NFL Scab. <laughs> Free Cleats, Memories of a Scab. Uh, if you were moved by the magnificent photographs of A Day in the Life of America or A Day in the Life of the Soviet Union, then you'll certainly be carried away by this brand-new collection right here. Oh, there it is. It's called A Day in the Life of Norm Huber. <laughs> That's right, 1,200 of America's finest photographers catch all the memorable moments in a typical 24-hour period of Norm Huber's life. Here, let's just take a look at some of these photos. Hey, there's Norm brushing his teeth and uh, sorting his socks right there. There he is dozing a little bit, uh, checking the TV guide and ordering dinner, reading a book. Yes, it just seems to get funnier and funnier, doesn't it? <laughs> Live at five, Hal. You're in a tight piece, Dave. What is the piece? Oh, uh, Tom Cruise. Uh, something that, well, something let's see that Tom Cruise. Happen. Let's see Tom. Put it. Of money. Martin Scorsese's sequel to The Hustler moved Tom Cruise to even greater. All right, height. that's enough, Hal. Come on. <laughs> this 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 bookmobile stuff is much better than that, isn't it? <laughs> All right. You know. Fans of Stephen King will want to buy this book. It's absolutely his creepiest and scariest one ever. It's called The Face in My Mirror by Stephen King. <laughs> Got that Tom Cruise nonsense over here. Uh, oh, it's the wrong one. Hmm. You know, kids are fascinated by the world of grown-ups, and that's why they'll spend hours with this educational activity book. It's called The Touch and Feel Book of Hair Replacement. So open it up here, you see you have the weave. That would be the hair weave. Get an idea how that would feel. And here would be minoxidil. Pretty nice. And finally, my favorite, the, the implants. 
All right. How many more do we have, library lady? Two, I think. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, this is a guy who has seen it all and heard it all, and now he's telling his story. It's a 1,001 Ways to Misspell My Name by Paul Schaefer. There it is. Paul <laughs> Schaefer. You have a lot of trouble with that, don't you, Paul? I do, actually, yeah. All different ways. That should be uh, cleared up right there in that lovely publication. Let me uh, keep that book. Uh, is this, this one? <laughs> Uh, you know, books like Above New York and Above Los Angeles uh, present beautiful aerial photographs of their subjects. Well, here's the latest volume from that series. <coughs> Excuse me while I clear my throat. <coughs> it's called Above Larry Holmes. Yes, it's every bit as breathtaking. Let's take a look at some of these photos. There's Larry. Just kind of out cold there. Did I get them all in there or not? It's a mop, though. All right, let's see. Oh, final one here. And then when we finish this up, we're sending the bookmobile into Live at Five. Just as fast as you can get it going. Just... They didn't even call. They didn't even offer. They didn't even, it wasn't even a maybe, not even a last minute kind of deal. Drive this sucker over there. <laughs> uh, finally, if you're captivated by the magnolia-scented romance of the Old South, then this charming storybook should be in your home. It's Jimmy the Greek's Plantation Tales. <laughs> Over there so they can get in yeah oh yeah the, sec the security guys are opening the door boy boy is that a good sign look out jack run for your life jack oh my god get under the desk jack there they go there all right are they in there now all right, they're by the makeup room. And once again, the security guys opening the door. Highly trained SWAT team. Will it fit? That's all right, just any, as far in as you can get it and just uh, set fire to it and run out. <laughs> poor, poor Kathleen riding on this thing. <laughs> She's gonna, so these guys are gonna take the fall for this. They'll be arrested. I'm over here like nothing happened. Is that it? Okay. Okay. All right. We, we got to do a commercial. We'll uh, count up the dead and the wounded, and we'll be right back. <laughs>